Hello everyone. Welcome. We're going to have conversations from the chairs with Jess and Mark. Uh, we thought maybe we'd try it this way. We've uh, done this about three times already. <laughs> this is like the fourth time. But we're doing this because in response to information that our viewers gave us about subjects they wanted to talk about. And so today's subject will be visas, at least our experience with visas coming to the Philippines. This is no definitive uh, video on visas in the Philippines. There's all kinds of visas, but in our case, we used two. The first time we came, it was tourists. The second time we're here now is Balak Bayan. But we came in December 2020 and the Balak Bayan visa was not available then. So we had to, I had to come in on tourist. But uh, it was the middle of the pandemic, no, no vaccine and very restrictive travel. Um, but anyway, we had to go through a process. In fact, when we were planning a trip, Jess wasn't even a Filipino citizen anymore. Why was that? Uh, because I was an American citizen. Oh. And becoming an American citizen means I automatically lose my Filipino citizenship. To be able to enter the Philippines in 2020, I need, <laughs> I need to take an oath of Filipino citizenship. And that was difficult because at the height of the pandemic, Everything is done through appointment. And I so, made that appointment in Washington, D.C. because we are residing in Maryland and all residents in Maryland has to go to Washington, D.C. for immigration purposes. And yes, I took an oath of Filipino citizenship and I was a dual, I, I, I am a dual citizen, uh, American and, have, and Filipino. And you have paperwork to prove that. Yeah, I do, yeah. I have a picture. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just an American citizen and they would not let me in in 2020 without a Filipino spouse. So, so. in 2020, the Philippine immigration laws require that only Filipino citizens can enter the Philippines. Also, the spouses of the Filipino citizen, children of the Filipino citizen, the family of the Filipino citizen. So that's it. Mm. Yeah. So, so we came over in 2020 in December and I could enter in only on a tourist visa. Yeah. Which ha lasts for how long? Mm, it, it, well, you have to apply for a tourist visa in Washington oh, DC okay. also. And if you remember, it was also by appointment. So we are ready to fly in December of 2020 and we are impatiently waiting for your visa to arrive. Yeah. Did you make it? Yeah, just barely. I think it was like, we had moved out of the apartment and we're staying with friends in anticipation of catching the plane a few days later mm -hmm. and the visa showed up in my mailbox, my old mailbox at the apartment. Yeah. So we made it. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a little nerve wracking there for a minute. All right, all yeah. right. So we made it and then we were able to go in the Philippines at the time and then the immigration officer in the airport stamped your passport with 60 days hmm. yeah 60 days so and then we went back and got a renewal for six months six and months and then other subsequent renewals were only two two, two months, months yeah. until the time we went back to america in june of 2023 uh -huh. and then when we came back in september so the the two months two months visa for mark tourist visa cost three thousand pesos so we we were doing that. He was doing that for three years. Well, you went with from me. From 2020 you kind of did it together. after 2023. Yeah, I was with him. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go to the immigration office in Cebu City. So for three years, Mark has a tourist visa. First time renewal of six months. And after that is two months, two months, which cost 3,000 pesos. In June of 2023, that was last year, we were able to come home. And visit, where, yeah, to Maryland. Yeah, yeah. And visit we the kids. We visited the kids and the grandchildren. Two and a half months, it was nice. Yeah, and grandchildren in Maryland, USA. So we spent there two and a half months. Yeah, then when we came back, I got a different visa. Yeah, when we came back, it was now a different visa. And it was called the Balik Bayan Visa. So what is a Balikbayan? A Balikbayan is a Filipino citizen residing anywhere in the world who came home. It's a coming home visa of a Filipino citizen. So the, 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 the American husband, Mark, 
should travel together with a Filipino citizen <laughs> to get to be able to be stamped with a Filipi a Balikbayan visa. So that was his entry visa in September of 2023, and the Balik the Balikbayan visa is good for one year. It's so, free. It's free. It's free. It, it's, free. Yeah, it's free. But the renewal of whatever visa right. you get after that is not. Yes. So, uh, how many more months that you are going to enjoy your Balikbayan visa? I don't know. What, what's today? <laughs> what's today? We came in <laughs> last year. Until it's May, right? It's May yeah. now? No, it's March. No, no it's March. Yeah. It's May <laughs> it's Six March. more months. Six Before more months. Before September, I'm yes. going to have to get it renewed. Right. So. Okay. Okay, you did your research for the Balik, Balik Bayan visa, so what are your options there? Well, according to what I've read online, you can renew your visa for one, two, or six months. Or you can leave and come back again and get another one year Balik Bayan. Depends on what we're doing. We may take a trip uh, on our anniversary this year. It'll be our 10th anniversary. She's actually put up with me for that long, which is pretty good. But guys, that's all we got for visas. So if you have, we're going to continue to use the list that our, our viewers gave us and cover more topics. We've got rentals, budget, restaurants, uh, how you handle the money in the Philippines, uh, other issues. So keep, keep those suggestions coming. We'll try to keep the stuff current. And uh, any questions, we can do research uh, for you if, if you want us to do that for yes. you and get, get back with your other uh, questions. Uh, and you know what? There's a lot of other visas to stay or enter in the Philippines, but we don't want to to delve on that because we don't know about that we have limited knowledge about that we are only talking here about tourist visa and balik bayan visa because that is the visa that mark and we're my not experts. has and that's what our experience is and all so the guys, rest we don't know we're yeah. not experts. well thank you guys for watching we appreciate all the support you guys are wonderful we appreciate the ones who have subscribed and those guys with the comments thank you so much it's exciting for us because we're old folks and not much happens. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, thanks a lot. Bye for now. Bye. I just hope that that. <laughs>